I received a nice comment from Philip on a video that I did recently, and he asked whether I could show him how to add a splash screen to FreeBSD. Let's see what we can do. It's not as easy as it used to be to add a splash screen to FreeBSD. Prior to 2014, the virtual terminal console driver was syscons. And with that, you could enable some configuration files in your bootloader.conf to actually put a BMP, PCX, or just a text loading splash screen. And then that was that. And after 2014, when the FreeBSD introduced new cons or VT, as the driver, the ability to add a splash screen was somewhat diminished. There are some benefits, of course. You've got Unicode support, double width character support, bigger font maps, and better use of graphic modes. But we did lose the ability for a splash screen to be there until the login. But we'll do what we can. We're going to make some changes uh, to some configuration files. You don't have to do these, of course, and I would suggest uh, making a backup before you do. But first, we're going to do some sysrc rc start messages. So I'm going to uh, stop the some of the boot messages anyway. The next one, we're going to add to the bootloader.conf disable beastie, which will uh, quieten the menu at the beginning. This bit, which took a while to type out, will uh, also quieten some of the messages. And then very briefly, if you could see it, we're going to lower the auto boot delay to three. So uh, it will um, boot a little bit quicker. And then we'll go into the actual bootloader.conf itself, because some things I forgot. And we're going to, uh, we've entered boot mute. And that should be it for that. And then rc.conf. Uh, then as the start message at the top, we're just going to add underneath syslog D, enable, no. Now, I like to say, you can use some of these if you wish, or you could just uh, not. This is on a test machine, and I don't. I, I actually personally prefer to see the scroll messages going up the screen. Some people don't, so that should be it. We're going to reboot and see what we can get. And on the left, there's traditional boot, and on the right, the new quiet boot. It's not perfect. There's a, a no pools available to import a message at the top, which breaks up the, uh, the quietness, as it were. But it's a lot less busy. I'm just going to log in on the left. And we, on the right, it will boot automatically into SDDM. There we go. For further explanation, and really for a much better tutorial, Check out Vermaiden's excellent FreeBSD blog, where it'll go into uh, extra detail and, and far, far more technical uh, scrutiny of how you can uh, quieten the boot process. Check it out. It's a great guide. Uh, and in fact, he is uh, w what he doesn't know about FreeBSD really uh, isn't worth knowing. Anyway, go and check out his blog. It's a brilliant read. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.